Hey Gemini, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Elena. We're going to tap into a general reading for you guys. See what messages Spirit has for you at this time. We'll take a look at the overall energy, okay? Money, career, business, love, any additional messages that you need to hear. Please do remember this is a general reading, okay? So please take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you. I appreciate you guys, and I pray that this reading will find you all well, all right? Let's tap in. I'm hearing that song, um, that Essence song with Wizkid and Thames. Uh, you don't need no other body. You don't need no other body. All right. This says don't let past events color your vision of your future. Okay. Damn. And now I'm hearing that song, um, Teddy Pendergrass. Think I need to let it go. Looks like another love TKO. Oh, yeah, the hangman judgment. Somebody's waiting for somebody to come back. And I feel like your guides are like, this is a love TKO. You know? Let it go. Looks like another love TKO. Harmonies, though. All right, let's tap in. It's the overall energy here. The Emperor. Oh, yeah, you're in charge. You're in charge, okay? Queen of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, or you need to be in charge. All right. Yeah, okay. Two of Wands, the devil, right. Something's clouding the vision right now, but not for long, okay? The sun will come out, okay? But that devil is in the present moment, okay? The Fool, the Seven of Pentacles. You're trying to figure out, okay, yeah, some of you are waiting for somebody, okay? If it's not like somebody romantically could be waiting and like business to move forward with plans to a launch, these plans had started some time in the past, um, or you're waiting for something to, to be able to move forward and, and jump into a new journey with the Fool here, okay? But with the Seven of Pentacles, that's all about reevaluating, right? How do we get there, all right? Um, King of Wands in reverse, okay? Ace of Wands, the Hierophant. Okay, so for some of you, it's like you started something, but it wasn't really planned out that well or the vision wasn't very clear. So you didn't necessarily know where it was going or leading you to, right? The Chariot, Ten of Swords. Some of you, uh, your guides are saying you, some of you walked right into something. You walked right into it, okay? And not, don't beat yourself up over it, okay? It's like they're saying you walked right into it, but if it happened, that's the way it was supposed to happen. You had to go through it to learn the lesson, all right? So tell me about the devil in the present. All right, Ace of Cups in reverse. And now whatever that situation is, it's turned your heart cold with the Ace of Cups in reverse here and the devil, okay? So it's turned your heart cold, right? King of Cups, Four of Swords here. You're realizing this now, okay? That some of these past events, you were letting it color the vision of how you see your future, okay? Or who you see yourself with. Some of you, that's solely coming from you still attaching yourself to this person, Okay, if this is about a person for you. Okay, yeah, Five of Pentacles, the Death card, holding out hope. All right, tell me about this song. But you're voting to live by tomorrow. There'll be. Whoa, this is powerful. All right, so I clarify the sun, right? And the Mother Star comes out in reverse. The cool thing about the Mother Star card in this deck is that it says yes at the bottom. But it came out in reverse, right? But it gets it gets deeper. Because then the creator card comes out to clarify on the bottom and it says no. All right, with the five of swords. Listen, I'm gonna tell you this now, Gemini. If that person comes back, okay, or you end up like saying yes to whatever this thing is, person, place, thing, whatever, I feel like your guides are gonna move it out your way anyway. Okay, um, and I feel like you might not understand. You might feel like the universe is being cruel to you. You can't see what they see. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Like you, you can't see what's going on. 
okay so you're saying yes in the 3d but it's like your guide spirit is like hell no nah, up there okay or out there all around us you know okay so listen um yeah if you say yes to something some of you this is some of you you're gonna say no you know what i mean some of you you're, you're gonna turn it down because you feel the vibes in it but some of you, just because of like, I feel like the love that you might have or the hope that you have for whatever the situation is, you might want to give it another chance. But I do feel like your guides are going to be like, nope, get your ass up out of there. Okay. Yeah, Nine of Wands here. And like I said, right, Knight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles is for your own good. And like I said, it might feel like, damn, like, dang, why y'all keep, you know what I'm saying? Damn, I feel like I'm doing this universe. You know how sometimes it can be a little frustrating, you know? Um, they're saying in due time, though, okay? In due time, you will be illuminated, okay? You will be enlightened okay about what it is you could not see and why you had to get out of this okay or why it had to be removed from your life okay queen of wands the fool okay some of you start a new job congratulations oh this is nice is nice seven of cups in the world some of you are wondering like is this job gonna grow or like if you'll it'll grow on you or you'll like it i would say yes okay i feel like some of you might be a little i don't know you're a little confused right now as like far as what you're doing business wise or career wise Yeah, the strength card, Queen of Wands, whatever this was, yeah, Three of Wands, Nine of Cups. Some of you took a new job and um, it was like you 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 had to go into it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> okay. Some of you I'm getting, it's like you had to go into it, but you weren't that confident, but you had to act like you were confident about whatever position this was. Tell me about the yeah, the Ace of Wands in reverse, okay, the Page of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. I feel like you're worried that you're you're worried about your performance. Am I doing a good job? Do they like me? Am I woo? Okay, with the Ace of Wands in reverse here, Page of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there could be a lot of um either you want to hear from the higher ups or whoever is over that where you are um that you're doing good you're doing well hey man we like what you're doing wow you know good right or you're you are being communicated a lot with by from these people okay and it could be giving you a little bit of anxiety yeah the moon here okay could be a female a boss for some of you okay king of cups page of pentacles here some of you could even feel like you know you've been messing up or something not doing the job right um Okay, I feel like whoever this is, though, whatever boss this is, is a compassionate one. All right, King of Cups there, Page of Pentacles, definitely willing to help you learn and, you know, help you learn the ropes. And if you need some extra training or whatever, you know. Okay, so tell me about the slippers. The Justice card. Yeah, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Okay. Judgment, the Page of Swords here. Give me one more there. Okay, ooh, the Empress. Yeah, you're gonna fucking flourish in this position. Stop worrying. Oh my God, you're gonna flourish in this new position. The lovers, justice, the Empress is gonna be fruitful. Like, yeah. And I would say, let's get some guidance before I, before I even give that. Okay. Hey, of Cups, Pentacles, and the world here. Yeah, you're truly stepping into a chapter where you know what I mean? Um, so, oh, some of you are holding on to like an old job, an old position that you used to have where you had a lot of success and you were on the top. And Spirit's saying, believe that you can do that here too. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're starting at, a, you know, maybe square one, you have to learn some new things. You know what I mean? Doesn't mean you're beneath anyone, right? Okay. Let's look at love real quick for the Gemini. That's person we dealing with a Scorpio in love. Yeah, definitely. We got the death card and judgment out here. Star could be an Aquarius as well. 
Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay, tell me about this death card because again, I told you some of you were maybe trying to hold on to something. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Ain't no shame, ain't no shame, shawty, you feel me? Okay, Queen of Cups, the Knight of Swords here. Yeah, some of you were holding out hope for something. You know what I'm saying? Death card in reverse, Wheel of Fortune, but at the same time, it was kind of stalling your like healing and your new beginning with the death card being in reverse here. All right, um, tell me about judgment on your present. Thank you. Okay, the creator card, and it says no. Okay, the hangman and the temperance. Okay, that's very, very clear. So it could be done with the Pisces, could be a Sagittarius here. Feels like in the present moment, it feels harsh. Okay, and it might even sound harsh when you're saying it, but it feels like your guides are like, nope, nope, not bringing them back in, not bringing them back in right now because they want you to focus on your healing with the temperance card, your peace. They want you to maintain your peace of mind and really create a stable um, peace of mind, right? Where it's not gonna fluctuate, even if they did choose to bring this person back in. Are you gonna change all of the work that you've done on yourself? We don't want that, okay? Healing's coming though. You got the star here. Like that's beautiful. You know what I mean? So it's like while you're in it, it, it kind of feels like you might be feeling like, man, this sucks. You know? But I do feel like hindsight will be 2020. Like you're gonna be seeing that shit Pyrex clear. Okay. Why everything had to happen. Exactly. The star, the hermit card, the ten of pentacles here, the hierophant, grief. Some of you going on a spiritual retreat. Okay uh wow some of you you're about to you about to embark on another spiritual journey it's time for another ascension yep it's time for another upgrade um and it looks to be focused in the love department yep star hermit ten of pentacles the hierophant here it looks to be in the love department some of you that's gonna get you ready for your husband or your wife if that's what you want right yep the tower i'm hearing no more drama in my no more life da -da. Yeah, King of Swords, Five of Cups. You about to get to the point where, again, you're going to understand every disappointment that came before these, right? That came before this moment. Yes. Wow. And you're going to start after that. It's going to be crazy. Like, you're going to start attracting the loves, lovers that you've always wanted, the connections you've always wanted, drama-free, high vibrational. You know what I'm saying? None of that mind game shit, none of that emotional manipulation. You know, of course, nothing's perfect, right? But you'll be attracting people who know how to communicate. You know what I'm saying? Don't have to act cool with their feelings and things, right? So we have the house here. Okay. We have short illness. Okay. Grief and sorrow here. Some of you, okay. I see some of you have been in the house a lot, okay? You could have been dealing with an illness or it could have been like depression or something like that and some of you could have even been like grieving something that ended okay um and hopefully you know that wasn't someone's actual life and if so i definitely send my condolences but um for a lot of people i kind of get this symbolically like you know things that have kind of died off in their life whether that be a relationship which i see being a really big theme here you know i see a lot of grief going with that and let yourself go allow yourself to go through the grief, right? It is a process. It is a process. All right. Okay. We have the first quarter moon in Taurus with release control. That's it. I'm telling y'all, all right? I'm telling y'all. Your guys are speaking all through this thing, Gemini, all right? So that's what I have for you guys. I appreciate you. I wish you all the best, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.